Da 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 da. It's the copyright-free adventures of General Atomic. <laughs> Lots of people said that we were uh, getting a little bit Iron Man adjacent, so um, I'll show you fucking Iron Man adjacent. <laughs> and here we are with my boy, uh, Planty Mush, General Atomic himself, with his uh, suspiciously painted power armor that lets him fly and shoot lasers. Uh, so, a uh, big complaint, of course, from the last couple of episodes was his robotic footsteps clip-clopping his way throughout the, not in the modern sense, uh, through the uh, through the wasteland. And that has since been resolved. He is now silent and moves like a quiet boy. He's put silences in his shoes. I mean, you can still hear him walk. He still has footsteps. And here we are in our secret underground base. Now, lots of stuff we've got to catch up on from the last couple of episodes. Good reminder about the uh, the supply line that I totally forgot to do. We, we will set that up today. Somebody linked a mod that uh, uncaps the settlement limit. Uh, which I've installed and set up and got working. Uh, very annoying that that's even a base game mechanic. That, that, that once they've produced, you know, 10 Tatoes or whatever, they'll just stop. The farms just stop because they see you've already got some in storage, so not today. A little bit bullshit. Now, a comment that I have seen a couple of times across Discord and the comments was about the Plasrail weapon that people want to see. Now, I've done a lot of weapon tweaking and messing around. I like that double shot weapon we bought, the Overseer's Guardian or whatever it was from the vault. Uh, but, you know, I, at this point in time, I feel like not shooting lasers is uh, a flavor fail. So we're, we're, we're aiming to resolve that situation. What I've done is I've got us three weapons that use different types of, um, you know, kind of laser or plasma ammo. So we've got the Dignity Rifle that you might notice I've tweaked and I've slapped an enormous explosive launcher to the front of it. That, I thought, would balance the fact that we're running out of microfusion cells. We're firing less microfusion cells because it's, it's effectively a rocket launcher. We've got the plaz rail. Lots of people wanted to see the plaz rail. Now, I did a lot of tinkering, lots of mathematics, a uh, lot of pissing around here to optimize DPS specifically. And I'll show you what we've got in a second. Then this gun is a bit of a wild card. You might notice it does 2,000 DPS. And I mean, yeah, the Dignity Rifle, okay, it does a shitload of damage. It's a rocket launcher. Uh, this, though, is just a regular rifle. For whatever reason, I was, I was, I was at this workbench just kind of um, pissing around looking for stuff to craft. And I think it was under Misk, or... I don't know where I saw it. It was somewhere in here, anyway. Uh, th there was the... Maybe it was under Utility, man to man costume, blah, 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 blah. I'm not sure where it was. There's the ammo type we can craft for this, by the way, which is cool. We craft out our fusion cores. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where I saw it, but somewhere under here is a... It's called, like, Plasma Accelerator. And I noticed it had a damage value. And then when I took it to the bench, it turns out that it's a really... Uh, heavily customizable Mass Effect looking gun that you can throw a shitload of different modifiers here. So armor um, penetration, blah, blah, blah. I've just gone for maximum damage because, you know, of course. Lots of uh, uh, barrel mods here. Like, it's super, super modular and quite cool to look at. Gun is what this does. Arc Plasma Energy Orb. Yeah, we're not really interested in that. Requires rank 3 demolitions expert. Uh, obviously, lots of grips and stuff like that. Lots of customization has gone into it, and I painted it red to match the armor as best I could. Sadly, there aren't any that really directly match, but I thought it was as good as we could get. Then we had 15 effect chips, so naturally I slapped two shot on it, and now we have a 2000 DPS standard, normal, basic rifle. It's just a rifle. There's nothing special about it. Um, well, I mean, it's quite a special gun, um, but it is just a... It's just a rifle. So it's like insanely powerful. It uses plasma cells too, which is nice. So the Plaz Rail, I did a lot of tinkering with. I thought I'd do this all off episodes. We wasted 20 minutes fucking around with guns again. I had to go get a bunch of, what was it? Nuclear material, fiber optics, and something else. But I don't remember what. Gold. It was gold. I wrote it down so I didn't forget. Uh, shipments of gold, uh, nuclear material, uh, fiber optics. Sold a bunch of NPCs. There were some uh, literary weapons that we looted that sadly we couldn't turn off. That reminds me. Someone left a comment last episode saying you turned off the... Uh, uh, the, the, the legendary item detector. Oh, I must have put it back on at some point. Maybe we have to keep miscellaneous ticked? No? Okay, well, I must have put it back on at some point. God knows when that happened then. Fair enough, there we go. Um, yeah, so this plasma rail is, like, super customizable as well. So much stuff you can do with it. Fun little, um, paint jobs, and you can have a standard rifle. Now, I've said to art cannon, because that's different, and I think kind of fun. The crystallizer, uh... Is, is the shotgun mode that I tested before. Doesn't do a huge amount of damage. Disc launcher. Again, more explosives that we really don't need. The reason I've gone for the arc can is there's another mod here. I think it's the recircular that gives better damage for energy weapons. 
So this is where it really gets confusing, right? Because this gun isn't chargeable like the gorse rifle is, where you hold it down, then fire. When you fire a shot, the numbers have to tick back up. So uh, uh, while, it, while it recharges, kind of similar to a recharge rifle. So trying to figure out the best way to go about it, because like that one is objectively the best damage right there. Look, massive. But the fire rate is six, whereas this one is 18, and you don't lose that much damage relative to... Uh, the fire rate so the actual dps goes up massively and i tested all the different ones you know 12 dps but i'm uh, sorry 12 fire rate but but higher damage versus 18 fire rate but lower damage this one's the best one after just basically crafting stuff over and over and over it's this reactive alloy that's correct uh doubles energy damage from other add-ons which is really ramping this thing up now i haven't put a legendary on this because i'll be honest uh well firstly we haven't got enough to do two shot if we did want to do that secondly it's a it's like an arc rifle so I don't really know what, how two shot would affect that if it did. It fires. I, I haven't shot it yet. I'm saving this for a fun time. Oh, fuck. That's sick. What the hell? <laughs> oh, my God. I was expecting it to fire lightning bolts. Like, um, is there a weapon in Fallout 3 that does that? It fires just like a stream of lightning? Like a Tesla gun or something? Oh, that's so different to what I expected. Oh, that's so cool. Big fan of that. That's why the that's the fire rate thing I'm talking about there. So when you fire a shot, you have to wait for it to go back up again before you fire it. I think you can fire it before that. But if you do, it does way less damage. That's basically the damage displayed on that. Oh, hello, Inspector. What are you inspecting? Nice Just looking around? Where are we headed? Uh, nowhere yet. Goodbye. So anyway, that's that. I've done a lot of tinkering between episodes, a lot of messing around. Uh, what we want to do now, I suppose, is set up those, before I forget again, those uh, settlement... What's the way in? <laughs> Those are uh, settlement supply lines. Where's the bloody workbench in this place? Up around the corner? So how is it we do it? We just take a settler. So let's take this person, for example. And then we say supply line to ever. So we've already got one set up to the other place. So, um, like, Grey Garden. Yes. Confirm. Is she done? I guess it's works. It's now not on the list. Assigned to. There we go. It's working now. Well, let's go track some people down. And let's send them on supply lines then. Because that way, in theory, all that mute fruit that we're growing over in the drive-in. <laughs> uh, hello? Are you are you okay up here? Hello? D uh, don't get up. No, please. Please, no! Huh. Well, that was very bizarre. Um, no, 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 don't shoot them for Christ's sake. No, stop. Good Lord, Planty. Accidentally queued up a bunch of bunch of vats. Okay, so we want to send you to... Uh, Sanctuary, I presume, is growing some stuff. Warwick Homestead? I don't remember where... I, I, I think that one has stuff going on, doesn't it? So, yes, do that. Is that working? There you go. So, you're on a supply line now. That's good shit. Uh, is there any negative that can happen from this? Can they, like, be attacked? Not sure. I wonder if we have to get like caravan defense like we do with the other stuff. Uh, hello. And let's set you over to Warwick Homestead. You'd assume that would be, there you go. You'd assume that would be another farming area. I don't know if you noticed as well, our AP points are not reduced by sprinting anymore, which is actually awesome. They are still reduced by the jetpack, but for the sprinting, it basically stays static. Now they don't recharge while we what? are sprinting but that's like a very minor issue that obviously that's only gonna be an issue if we've just jetpacked let's send you to oberland station uh, did that not work there you go that worked and then you can go to I, I i wanted to build robots to do this but honestly we've got so many spare people here uh let's send you to sanctuary should we just try and go everywhere just get the whole wasteland connected that'll be fun mccready no mccready we might want to a person's missing a face uh hello <laughs> we are already off to an amazing start today. Okay, cancel. And let's send you to the castle. There you go. That's quite literally just across the bay. So that's an easy job for you. Um, then let's move you to Boston Airport. That's with the Brotherhood, right? You can head over to the Mechanist Lair. Don't know if anything's actually produced at the Mechanist Lair. There we go. And then Settler. Oh, look. Hello. Oh, it's Deacon and Curie. Hello. Um, no, no, no. Don't send them anywhere. Let's go, uh, a Vault 88. Sure, yeah, good luck with that. Let me know what you find. You can go speak to Clem. 
And then... I did not... Why, why couldn't I have moved Clem to somewhere else? Was that not allowed? Weird. And then Supply Line, you can go to that manor even though there's absolutely nothing there. Basically, we're just getting them to keep an eye on stuff. Think of them more as our private spy division. To go out there, see what's going on in the wasteland, and bring back reports to Unstoppable's Island. I think that is uh, it's a much better way to look at things. Obviously, a lot of them aren't going to bring back anything at all. So, for our quest then, I think today we're going to carry on with CIT. I kind of floated this as an idea. I didn't see any arguments against it. Um, mainly because all this stuff just seems like busy work for the... Uh, for the, whatever they're called. They're so memorable. The railroad, that's right. Um, yeah, and obviously that quest doesn't work. We're going to the barbarian, so I'll probably just, uh, console command that way at some point. Do we have NPCs for our teleporter? I said it was at 76%. Did I forget to pick some up? Hold on. Um, NPCs. Otherwise, that would be... Oh, we got 67. We'll be fine. Right then. Let's get to work. God, I've got to, I've got to test some guns out today. We've got to test some guns out. We've got to, we've got to go do some... Uh, maybe we should go do some combat just to test stuff out. Randolph safe house. Okay, let's go do this one quickly. Just so that we can get a taste for brand new modded weaponry. Where the fuck was that map marker? Constantly elusive map marker. Somewhere up here. There you are. Pick up the dead drop at the super duper mart. Could be a behemoth. That'd be a good way to test some new weapons, huh? Now, uh, I did mention this a couple of episodes ago, but I'm going to record this episode, tomorrow's episode, back to back, because I'm away um, Friday, Saturday. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Okay, I mean, I knew there was going to be a behemoth, bro. But that's um, a little bit unfair. Okay. Away! Feel that? Jesus oh, Christ. Ah. <gasps> right. R right into, the, right into the, 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 the middle of things, huh? We've got to show... I mean, that thing's fun, but I think it still needs some work. This thing, though. Oh, look at that. It fires shots that explode. <laughs> this thing, I've got to be careful with my microfusion cell usage when it does that. Get fucking roasted. Oh, yeah, try it, Feral Ball. See what happens. Wowee. Gorse rifle. High capacity night vision. Wowee. Thank you. You don't really want that. We haven't, we haven't got the ammo for it, sadly. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let me swap to a less expensive to run weapon. Um, let's try out this two-shot Half-Life Meltdown. Or Plasma Accelerator, or whatever it was called before I tinkered with it. Are these all ghouls? Bad shot. Bad shot. Still not used to the much lower sensitivity now. <laughs> it's a very it's a very different experience. And who was that shouting at us before? Shout at Planty while he was. Oh, I think it might be some bugs in this wall. Um, hello. Definitely, I definitely heard a man shouting at us when we were trying to fight all that other stuff. Hello. Goodbye. Well, this was a great test of our weaponry, huh? Superb. Great work. Who's this person? In there. Ah. Oh, well, they are raiders. I thought I heard someone shouting. I gotta get I gotta get better at using the teleporter, okay? I'm gonna get better at using the the teleporter, because that was almost life ending immediately against that behemoth. I'll let they're up Shit's there. Got ambush, all over it. <laughs> ambush written all over it, you don't say. <laughs> I like this gun. I like this gun. Fast firing. Rapid. Just getting warmed up powerful. over here. That sounds like someone in power armor. Shoot. Hello. Let's just test it. Just t one like single shot. <laughs> ah. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? It really is just a thing of beauty. Good lord. Um, Raider Scum had a fat man. Oh dear, we don't need any more of those. I really should test one of those out at some point, huh? It was a building apparently. Where was that? Yeah, look over here that we haven't explored. Really? Seems unlikely. What was that? Ghouls? Raiders? It's got a good range to it as well. Ooh, this feels... This feels mighty. This feels mighty and benevolent. And more importantly, it's very on theme for the nonsense that we're wearing. Oh, is it here? Yeah. Uh, hello? I don't think it's this place. I think this is just a diner. What's left of a diner? We've got to try and loot some more stuff. I do a lot of tinkering, okay? I like the tinkering in this game. Is it up on the... 
bridge, perhaps? Still haven't got enough action points to jetpack even up half the building. God's sake. Oh, look at how slow the action points recharge. Oh, God. Don't know what exactly is... Oh, it's probably because that last armor we had had an agility boost to it, right? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Um, I think it's up on top. Try the teleport. Oh, that works. What is this fucking building? Ah, Lexington Apartments. There you go. Okay. Let's go mad then for a second. Well, let's poke around. Why not? You haven't been over here before, so we might as well go take a peek, I suppose. Do a little exploration before we go and help out the bloody railroad. Uh. <laughs> hello? I think it's time to dispense some justice, my friends. I, I miss the footsteps. It made us feel powerful. The best and most annoying part of the power armor. Hey, Inciting fear there? in our enemies. It is I, General Atomic. Asshole, just give up. That wasn't very cool. <laughs> Missing half your shots isn't, isn't very impressive there. Oh, that would have been way cooler if he just stood his ground and robo cop them. But instead, no, I messed up. No, I messed up. Oh, is that it? Oh, for God's sake. How do you mean Lexington Apartments in one room? Fucking game. Right, sorry. Let's not get too distracted here. Let's get back to work. Is it just a way to get up here for some reason? Wow, that's a... Speak about a toilet with a view. Wowee. Okay, uh, let's get back to whatever the hell it was we were doing before. Ah! That's going to backfire so hard one day. That's going to backfire so hard one day, and poor plants is going to be stuck in a wall. Randolph Station. Okay, clear the hostiles at University Point. I feel like we've cleared the hostiles at University Point about 100 times here. Don't want to see IT. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a minute. Thank you. University Point. Where was that? It was somewhere over here. Uh, only there was some sort of map marker. <laughs> what genius in Bethesda? Well, I was in the right zone. What genius in Bethesda was like, yeah, you know what we should do? We should uh, make the map grayscale. Effectively grayscale. And then make the map marker small and exactly the same color as everything else. Genius. Great plan. Welcome, traders. Oh, my... My light's not working? The light's third person only. Oh, well, yeah, no, that's great. Yeah. I'll just swap to third person so I can see the irony. I guess I could just wait till daytime. You're right. That is a, a perfectly valid way to go about this. That's very correct. Okay. Cannot wait to get home and check our adhesive supply. And see that we've got three or four adhesive and a tear will come to my eye. Finally, we've done it. We've broken through. Engaging. Hostile. Play ball. I think there may be some synths here. I think they may be in hibernation. Ow! Fusion cells! <gasps> no! Oh, it turned to it turned to dust. It turned to dust. It's okay, it's not that bad. Ah! Careful, 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 careful. Seize it. Seize it. Right work. Okay, good good shit. But to be fair, we didn't actually go into University Point. Okay. Um short pulse carbine rifle. I don't think I've ever Whoa! We haven't seen that one before. Doubt we can customize it as heavily as this thing, but that could be good. Does a lot this area as a settlement? If we clear out Sedgwick Hall. Hello there. Sorry, I got terrible hiccups. I'm trying to hold my breath and suppress them, but that makes for pretty terrible content. <laughs> Curious. The silent. Oh fuck. <coughs> The silent General Atomic I was genuinely about to say unironically. My scanners must be malfunctioning. I don't know why anybody wouldn't trust these synths. They're fun little robot fellas. Teehee, my scanners must have been malfunctioning. Absolutely no reason for a robot to ever speak out loud. But they've just given them that much humanity. Just a good amount of humanity. Uh, student directory. Enrolled undergraduates. Uh, A to D. System corrupt. E to H. System corrupt. Does this actually do anything for us at all? Obviously not going to check every single one. I might. Just out of stubbornness at this point. So I feel like it's got to pay off. Okay. Enrolled graduates. Here we are. Do you recognize any of these people? Are these people who worked on the game? They sound like just generic names. Uh. 
What's the name of your main character? He's got like an actual... Oh, obviously, we're playing too much, but in, in other people's playthroughs. He's got like Nate, right? Nate and Nora. Frightening combination of names. If you have a name combination like that, never get married. You can name me a child. Nick. That's the best I've got. I'm trying to think of a name beginning with N. It doesn't really... I doubt... It's just curse. It's just curse. It doesn't work. Jesus, what is happening? I seem to have lost all ability today. There we go. Thank you. It's the... It's the it's the it's the changes to the the, the the mouse sensitivity. That's what it is. It's that. There's no no skill issue necessary. And that one we could have just picked and walked in. Hilarious. Right. Up. Oh. Tasty Mylurk surprise. See, this gun isn't that overpowered. It still took two shots to take out a regular Mylurk. What a waste. An egregious waste of my ammo. How dare you. Can you tell where my looks are lurking? Perhaps my sensors need calibration. I don't know why they would have the robot speak out loud like that. It's, it's ruining my immersion. Hello. Oh dear, legendary patroller. Okay, no thank you. Did he whiff that first shot? Was it was like 95%? I feel like this gun has or whatever you are. I know you are out there. I feel like this gun has maybe like an enforced mischance or something like that. The fact that I missed that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fella, big man. Jesus Christ. Hold on a second. I think we're just fucking dead. That was. That was ridiculous. Oh my god. Okay. Holy shit, these guys do not piss around. Let's take these hints a bit more seriously. The sensitivity of my sensors clearly needs adjustment. <laughs> oh, maybe they just... Are they not networked together? Maybe that's how they talk to one another. Maybe he's talking to his friends. It's, it's just a little bit too human. For the Gen 2 synths, it's a little bit too human. Are these Gen... 3? Gen... Sorry, Gen 1? Gen 2? I presume they're Gen 2. Because they look like Mr. Valentine a little bit. Great shot there. Legendary synth trooper. Okay. Primary sensor. You will never get this. You will Are actually you never get this. Ooh, hello. No enemy detected. We might want to stick two shot on that. That arc rifle. That could certainly do something for us. Grab all this crap. W one of the guns. I don't remember which one it was. Required two assaultron circuit boards to upgrade, which is why I shelved it. I don't know which one it was, but it's definitely one of the... Ooh, Tesla Science Energy Weapons in play. Plus five percent critical damage. Wow. Okay. Is that it? Are we done here? There's definitely another synth. I heard it. Uh. Hello? God, there's something else over there. Got a lot requires terminal. It's in here, then. Another whole section of school. I was going to say, more bloody Marlocks. Way too strong. Movement detected. Curious. Curious. Okay, I feel like this is just the way you you can normally go to the dean's office if you haven't got the lock picking skill. So it's probably not here. Ooh, thank you. Why not? Why are you hiding? Odd. My scanners must be malfunctioning. I'm trying to kill you, but I can't find you, friend. Fire again. Get their attention. Oh, hold on. Oh, I'm out of ammo already. Well, that didn't take bloody long, did it? Um, that was plasma, right, for that one. Shit. So it says 21 plasma. Oh, because we just picked some up from that plasma pistol. Yeah, you're very right. Shit. Okay. These synths are insane with those bloody guns. They are absolutely insane and present? ridiculous and scary. Uh, let's go back to... Why does that gorse rifle have 2,400 DPS? Are you telling me I just picked up a weapon that immediately beats all my others that I had to buy like five shipments for? Are you fucking shitting my britches? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Very appropriate. <laughs> ah. It's so peaceful. It really does just bring a bit of peace to the chaos. 
Man, given the synths, that has made them actually quite a scary endgame enemy. I understand in the early game, it's like, okay, this is ridiculous. This is horribly unbalanced. But at this point, having horrible guns distributed to foes that we're only going to see more and more, depending on what path we obviously go through the main quest here, potentially mainstay endgame frequent enemies could be exactly the balance we need. What is that over there? Is that a rare item I missed? What the hell is it? Uh, got room to have to get back over there now. Right, it was uh, da, 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 da. around here, ignore the miler, up here, around the corner. I have no idea what you want me to. What? How did I miss that? Oh, is it a legendary thing they synth had that I just forgot to loot? Oh, well done, genius. Well, there we are. Take that as well. Some dandy boy apples, see? You're one of those dandy boys, aren't you? Don't try it. Sad. Sad, sad life. I can't believe this gorse rifle is better. So annoyed at that. Fucking hell, I thought a skeleton just grabbed his ankles then. Naughty skeleton. Right, I think we've cleared this place out. Let's see if we can find the exit at this point. Uh, excuse me. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, do we have to go back to Desdemona? <laughs> I just wanted this to test the gun. As I recall, this next quest doesn't have much shooty shooty bang bang. I think it's more of a more of a covert operation, which of course you know I'm known for. Known for my covert operations. So a workbench here then. I, th I feel like there has to be because there's a water purifier there. Frequency signal found. I should probably tune in some of those at some point. Uh, maybe not. It's a little bit too um, a little bit too prefabby, isn't it? What is that emergency? I just tune into that. What the fuck is that? Hello. Okay, that's it. It's just a it's just a radio broadcast. Good lord. Okay then. What the hell is that? What the hell have we just Oh is it Oh it's gonna be some of those um rusty fellas, isn't it? Rust devils. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Oh Christ. Okay. Um, sentry bot lament. Yes, I lament being <coughs> ah that close to a sentry bot. Oh, that's a lot of people. That's a lot of enemies. Oh shit. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's calls for the heavy, the, the the big guns, the big guns. Die with dignity. Okay, careful. Watch yourself. Careful. Every time we fire this gun, I feel like it's doing an incredible amount of damage to us. I don't understand there why for a couple of seconds we kept taking stim packs, unless someone's got like a a sniper and a great shot to them. Okay. God damn. This gun is insane. This gun is insane, but it's going to get me killed. Well, that was worth doing because we got another legendary item. I think that's enough chips to put a double shot on something. What the fuck? Gatling laser. You, do, you give me this. You do, I spend how many? I, I don't know how many hours. Not hours. Maybe like an hour. Grinding up resources. Pissing around with crafting. And then in game, it immediately gives us A. Gorse rifle with better damage. B. Gatling laser. You son of a bitch. Okay. Um, Here's the thing. I think we should go back to Desdemona first. And then go to CIC. Uh, Then mess around and see if we can... Do something with the Institute. I don't want to do something with the Institute first and then come back to Desdemona. You know, because she might okay, command she, to know. She explained why, but. Yes, thank you, Drummer Boy. About to head out. My safe house kitties need me to make some delays. Oh. Institute presence increases odds of. Oh, God, is there actually a main quest here for once? Routes by 52%. 52%. That's prohibitively dangerous. Professor, how do you feel about getting thrown back into the fire? Uh. Uh, tell me the job. We're still working that out. We've hit a snag with Dr. Amari. You haven't met her. She works in good name. She met plays her. a vital role in our organization. <laughs> Synths are supposed to go to the memory den. The doctor gives them a new set of memories, then they can move we, out. Can we not just but her latest patient have a conversation? The runner's route has been compromised, and we're looking for options. Uh, tell me about the options. We're trying to come up with another route that leads to the proper destination. Maybe, Pam... What if we reroute through Lexington? The switchboard 
is a nexus of institute activity. Odds of detection increase exponentially with proximity to the nexus. In English, Pam. She means we can't run ops anywhere remotely. Near wasn't that board. complicated, Desdemona? The Gen ones blocking the original route have to go. Ah, uh, tell me what to do. <sighs> I don't see a way out of this. We're not going to we take sides. We're not going to. Go to Doctor Amari and tell her rerouting isn't possible. You're there to clear the route for one last run. Okay, we're There's gonna shoot a, a bunch of sins. So get the job done. Okay, well, I mean, we are doing weapons testing today, I'm I suppose. Busy. Hello. Randolph is still Unless operational. Oh, finally, Please some good news. We else. thought they were another casualty of the switchboard disaster, but Randolph's been dark for too long. Uh huh. It'll be controversial, but we have to put them under. Ra warranty. Randolph is still operational. Uh, if that's your call. It is. We'll play it slow and safe. Who's and Randolph? Make sure they're our What's Randolph? Before we bring them back into the fold. Our only communication with Randolph I thought that was going to be by dead drop. Who gave us the quest to go Check to where we just went? Check with Drummer Boy. He coordinates the dead drops for us. Thanks. Okay. Quest, quest complete. There you go. Randolph is operational. We went there with nothing but skeletons and synths. So maybe I missed something. Glory. These people, are, I, I hate them. They're so self-righteous. Bet you never met a synth before. Glory. Two of our friends are synths. Fucking hell, this guy could be a synth for all I know. Can we fast travel out of here? I gotta go back. Oh, we can fast travel out of here. Cool. Okay. Um, memory interrupted. Talk to Dr. Murray. This seems like an actual important mainstay quest. So I guess we'll... Um, you got lucky. You got lucky, Railroad. That's all I was going to say. Because I was about to drop you like a... Kind of fast travel from this location. You... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I wonder if there's going to be an important quest or encounter here later on. Believable. Right. Back to work. Remember, we're doing this because it's a good, nice, kind thing to do. It's not about Alp in the railroad. Who are a bunch of uh, self-righteous hippies. With very questionable morals and motives. You walk that freedom trail. We're doing this to help the individuals, the synths themselves. We're friends with synths. That's why I don't think the Brotherhood is ever going to be viable. Put your gun away. <gasps> Kent! Hey, Kent! I've been working on improvements for the costume. You ready for me to get to work? Uh, okay. If you don't get the costume shroud, not much I can do. I'll be here when you get it. Okay. Bye, Kent. I feel bad for Ken. I feel like he's just been like like we really made his dreams come true, and now we've just kind of moved on and left him behind. I really I, I wish there was a way to make him come with us. Like turn him into a follower. I mean, I, I could. Let's, we'll think about that. Hello. The contact H two twenty two was talking about. Just when I thought one person could only experience so much danger in their life, the patient is resting right now. Were you hoping to say goodbye? I don't advise it. He's far past remembering anything about his old life. Uh, I, I'm not here to talk, Doctor. I'm here to get the job done. Give him any good memories, meetings with sexy strangers, that kind of thing. He doesn't remember anything. I'm very thorough. His new life started in a small homestead near Roxbury. That's all he knows now. Mm. While you can talk to him, no amount of coaxing can reverse the process. He won't remember you, and he never will. Uh, uh, I'm here to get the job done. This was the guy that we saved before. I mean, I don't know why we'd give a shit. Oh, I, I'm not, I'm here to say goodbye. Who cares? We, we genuinely met him for about five seconds. Uh, let's go. Then what's the plan for getting H2 out of here? Uh, the original route. That's the plan? I thought your people valued discretion. <sighs> but fine. I won't argue. The Malden Metro Center is where you need to go. All the Gen 1s there need to be gone, understand? All of them. I'm leaving H-222 and his future so in silly. your hands. Once he's gone, we never had this If you'd like a better uh, ethical you leave, approach to the, uh, the railroad problem that's in sci-fi that I think does it better, uh, there's a Star Trek Deep Space Nine episode where Worf's brother um, doesn't want to be alive anymore. So... Uh, and he wants Worf to kill him in in the Klingon way, so that he can die with honor. And instead, they take a different approach, and it's it's very it's very ethical. It's a big ethical debate, much more, <laughs> much less insane than the railroad. Who are you? 
Hey, stay back. The doc said I got Hello. some sort of contagious disease or something. I I'm under quarantine. I understand in this situation is 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 slightly different to that. Because almost not knowing their synths is better for them, I would say. Seems like a like a a safer approach to the situation. People can be tortured, okay? If you don't know you're a synth, what are they gonna get out of you? Until I suppose they they slice your hand off for not complying. They cut a middle little finger off. Oh, but the Gen 3 synth, so it'll just be flashing blood, wouldn't it? You'd be fine. It's not like uh, it's not like Terminator. Peel it back and then you see a uh, metal exoskeleton, endoskeleton. You'd see an exoskeleton. That wouldn't be very that wouldn't be very good for to try and hide the synths. Super mutants are often accompanied by mutant hounds, monstrous dogs that are just as dangerous as their masters. What did this make you think? What the? Detected. Curious. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it's Glory. Glory, what Wait. the fuck? <laughs> we got assigned the same damn job. With all our compartmentalization bullshit, this sort of shit happens. You got the job from the good neighbor side. I got it from Griswold's safe house. Uh... No, uh, that, that's the price we pay for security. Don't tell me you buy into that crap. Sheesh. Well, since we're both here, what do you say the two heavies join forces and rock the heavens a little? Been wanting to see you in action with my own eyes. You just did. Motherfucker, we turn up and there were two since sat next to you. You were basically having tea together. Uh, okay, let's do this. Uh, no. Stay, remain exceptionally neutral with the railroad, because I'm still not sure how I feel about them. Then let's show them how it's done. Well, let's take that, because that's at least got some ammo for me, if nothing else. What have we got here? Oh, uh, now, yeah, Glory. Please, could you carry my things? I haven't got any strength. Oh. Uh, we don't need a pool cube. We don't need a tire iron. We definitely don't need two pipe wrenches. Arguably, we don't need another fat man for the collection. Um, plasma pistol, get out. Short pulse carbine rifle. I want to take a look at that because it's a modded. Fuck me. That's a modded gun. I can't use this around Glory. We're gonna we're gonna incinerate her. Uh, I guess we'll go for the plasma rail again, huh? Because this thing's kind of fun. I think if we put two shot on this, I, the problem is I'm not sure if two shot will double the amount of projectiles coming out of the gun, or whether it will just add an extra projectile because it says fire an additional shot. I thought we were fighting since. Those are fucking raiders. Ah, my auto loop seems to be malfunctioning. My the head's up visor. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we shouldn't revel in the death of synths. We're, we're trying to save synths. Glory's a synth. It's a different type of synth. That's like me being very upset that someone's had to gun down a, a raging face ripping chimpanzee. You know? Similar but not the same. Oh, hell. Gen Man, if it's gotta be done. Oh, she quite literally just took that thought just... right out of my brain. I don't know, chase them off? <sighs> yeah, she took that thought right out of my brain. That's good. I'm glad they addressed that, actually. Obvious weird qu quandary there. Saving sins by killing the sins. Sorry, Glory. I don't think we can chase them off. It's okay, they won't feel any pain. But they can't feel pain. Please lower your weapon. <coughs> Doing a couple of chops. What does she do? I thought she was supposed to be the heavy. Jesus. What is that she's got? She's got a minigun? Or she's got a big pink Hello Kitty minigun. Amazing. Ooh. Ooh. A cold boxing glove. Good idea. Put it in the freezer first, so then you can break your fingers when you punch someone with it. Level 55. You know what I forgot to mention? I I bought a load of perks to do crafting. And I totally forgot to mention it. It doesn't really matter too much, but basically we got blacksmith level 3 and we got chemist level 2 because some of the mods that we've got required it. That's all. That's basically all there was to it, so don't, don't worry about it too much. Um, that's why we've only got one perk available now. I'm going to all the gem ones. I thought there would be a map marker for it, but apparently not. Now I made a mistake of opening my inventory. Now all its Iron Man armor has dumped it right into his... Sorry, our legally distinct armor has been... Dumped all this crap right into his pocket. I want to check that thing out. 
Ah, uh, I guess we'll drop some of these things. We don't need this many. We don't need this many. There you go. I was only picking it up to get the ammo out. Right. Oh, hello. Thank you. Oh, flip lighter. Curious. Hell yeah. We needed so much gold. Right, let's run up this train. Hello. Oh, this gun is silly. Oh, Lord. I'm a fan of it. Jesus. Feels very righteous. Again, we're not we're not reveling in the deaths of synths. That would be probably quite offensive to... Uh, Probably quite offensive to glory. Overactive sensors. Nothing more. I don't understand why they keep chatting to themselves <laughs> about stuff. It's the only one here. Okay, uh sorry, Glory. I've just gotta just gotta get some ammo here. Gotta get some ammo, you know. Right, there we go. Right. Although this gun, to be fair, is not at any risk of running out of ammo, maybe ever. Then we've got to take the elevator now, don't we? Oh, they sound like they're right behind that wall, though. Is there a different way to go? Um, maybe not. Through the through the toilet? What is this? Nope. No sins in the toilet. Okay, then. I feel like leaving all these very high-powered laser guns lying around for raiders is a horrendous idea, but... Never mind. Frag mine in the freezer. Now, that's a practical joke I can get behind. You know, that's a practical joke where no one gets hurt. I'm going to updo this thread. Now that's a practical I joke right there. Hello. <laughs> you know, this is growing on me. I like that other gun, but it's quite simplistic in its approach. Point, stuff dies. You run out of ammo. Business as usual. But this though. This though, like, it's got like, it's got like big Palpatine energy. It's got big Palpatine energy behind it. Makes you want to scream unlimited power. Give me that fucking fusion core. Put it with my collection. I'll, I'll use it at some point to craft ammo. Of course, the problem with that is then I can't complain about not having any ammo. Oh, where were we? Sorry about that. We just had people arrive at the door who think it is appropriate in the year of our Lord 2024 to bombard me with their religious uh, 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 leaflets. Very inappropriate. Thank you. Hello. Very inappropriate. Don't really appreciate that. Oh, God. I think the... <laughs> big benefit to this weapon... Is that I can miss... And they still take... A tremendous amount of damage. Helter Skelter? Hello? Because it arcs between people. Look at that. That's sick. It doesn't do a massive amount of damage just like by itself. I can be a little inaccurate. We're totally fine. Sorry, did Glory die? What the fuck happened to her? I didn't even see it happen. Am I supposed to go back now and be like, oh, you'll never believe it. Oh my God. Metal armor of the hunter. Look at all this legendary gear. Look at this shit around. Oh my God. Give me that. I'm just gonna like fight through it. Pick it all up. Pick it all up. And then we can dump it all afterwards. Okay. Not the plasma rail. There's a disc launcher. That's that thing that hisses and almost killed us in one shot. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll grab this shit and then I'll just dump it over here. Right. Boom. Here. Take some of these. Uh, don't need that. Thank you. I'll keep that plasma rail because we might be able to break it down for something useful. Um, good lord. I feel like we should we should burn this place down when we're done. It seems like a tremendous amount of dangerous equipment we're leaving around, but okay. There we go. Beautiful. What have we got over here, then? Oh, there's so much good loot. Wowee. Tumblers today. Lock picking is permanently easier. I don't think we were having any trouble with that. Right. Oh, hello there. Taking those, if you don't mind. Where does that go? Nowhere. And then we've got Helter Skelter. Horrible. Stop that. Put these horrible mannequins everywhere. Very rude. Ooh. Jesus, there's so much stuff. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. We're just gonna do a do a quick sweep. Hoover it all up. Someone's got a type. It was just a mini nuke. Is that heaven? What the hell's going on in there? Mini nuke just casually lying on the floor. In the middle of an enormous firefight. Yeah, I'm sure that wouldn't have backfired or front fired or fired in every direction. Ridiculous. 
<laughs> Stupid raiders. What do we got for me then? Ooh. So one was a legendary raid. Oh, that was our legendary raider, right? I oh no, Helter Skelter's here. Oh. Wasn't even legendary. Just named, but slightly inferior to the others. Well, this is, um, seems a little unnecessary, but okay. What have we got in here then? Another fusion core? Thought I had one of the, uh, one of the generators running, but never mind. Well, I think Glory's dead. Probably we're going to see her again. I didn't want to do any more railroad stuff, and they keep pulling me back in because of our misguided sense of justice. I still don't know if they're trustworthy. Uh, on the surface, what they're doing, of course, is very noble. But their methods are... Taking people and brainwashing them for their own good. Ah, don't know. Feels a bit weird. Feels a bit weird. Because you're effectively killing a person. Okay, that's the, that's the ethics argument, isn't it? You're killing a person to... Give another person life. Desdemona stood at a railway. That's why they call it the railroad. Hand on the lever. You kill a thousand synths, but you save, you know, maybe like 60. <laughs> I don't know what a body count today was. Killed a lot of those little guys. Is that it? And now we just go back to HQ? Surely we should go back to the doctor and say, hey, by the way, it's cleared out. Maybe I'm here to say, oh, by the way, Glory died. I have no idea. Randolph Safehouse has got another dead drop for you. I could not give a le less of a fuck about Randolph Safehouse. I thought that place was... I was power napping and where it hit me. Got some ideas on how to kid out the liver. That, that's super... crazy. Right, uh, we're gonna, gonna grab all this stuff. If you don't mind. Just gonna suck all this stuff up. They don't need it. What was he talking about? Sorry, upgrade my gun? Sorry. You need anything? What were you saying? Okay, let's, it changes, let's see what he's got in stock. Then. <coughs> what you got? Uh, was he just like kind of rambling to himself? You know what might not? What was that? Another meal? What the hell? Is that not a quest item? Bizarre. What we could do with is maybe buy some ammo. Uh, fusion cell. Yeah, we'll take those. Uh, gamma rounds. We don't need plasma cartridges. We do though. Thank you, Tinker Tom. Much obliged. A oh, thousand credits. Oh, that's taking us a step further away from our other stuff. Uh, should we fire optic? Oh, shit. Did I keep that in my pocket? Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, right. Let's get rid of... Man, I wanted to sell him something, but I can't, I can't afford to part with, part with any of that stuff. I feel like I should really start selling some of these mini nukes at some point. We're trying to save up enough money to buy that cybernetic blueprint, right? Sell some NPCs. We don't need this many. You can't afford them all anyway, so... Bonk. Oh, a few more. Hold on. Sell him like... 400 or so more. There you go. That'll do it. There you go. We're, we're, we're a friend of the railroad. Maybe not so much, but that's a gift to you, my friend. 1,700. We're back again. Contact Dr. Amari. She'll have more details on the route. Well, I had to come back and speak to you, actually. At least not so. Right. We're just going to suck up all their stuff because I feel like we've earned it at this point after. I'm very busy. After all their stuff. <laughs> I still don't know. I don't know how I feel about them. I'm very neutral on the railroad, I think. Very neutral on the whole organization. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. Appreciate that. Thank you, Kitchen Scale. Right. Doctor. No, no, no. We need to go and have a chat with Des Demona. Hello. Hello. She'll have more details on the route. Yep. I know. I already got an earful from Glory about Malden. Operational security is worth the occasional crossed wire. Sure. Anyway, Amari reports H222 made it out safely. Hey, it was good to help out H22 again. Why do I care? You've just wiped his memory. He's a, he's a whole other person. So why do we care? Like, it's not the same H22 that, quote, we know. We didn't even know the first fucking one. Um, then it all worked out. The crisis is over for now. Take this. You've earned it. Maybe Planty's like, oh, yeah, it was great to help someone out. Oh. I could see that. I can see it just because he's a nice guy. I'm going to put my bitterness aside and allow Plan to be a nice a nice fella. Right, good shit. Okay, there we go. We got the dead drop from Randolph. I would, I would rather not. Okay, now, beginning tomorrow, we are going to hit the ground running. No more pissing around with the railroad. We're going to go back to Spectacle Island, dump some stuff off. Maybe have a test of that Gatling laser quickly at the end of this episode, so I'll have to do it tomorrow. And then we're going to jump right in. Main quest, CIT. Ah. 
So peaceful, isn't it? Turning home. Please don't crash. <laughs> I'm not, I, what I've realized is I need to not save my save game here. Because if I come back, it seems to... Or if I try and load into a save... Human good fighter. Thank you. If I try and load my save from, uh, uh, from, from a, a save that left off here, that's when it freaks out. What the hell is this thing? This thing looks awesome. Uh, standard barrel. Sniper barrel. It's okay. It's it's cool looking, but what the hell is that? Oh, cheek pad. I see. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it's got massive potential. And then we've got these things, which are insane. Um, is it? I don't think it's really worth trying to do anything with these either, right? Let's be split cell. Let's be tuna. Fifty-two damage modifier. Stick a flat damage modifier on it. It's hilarious. Red beam versus blue beam. That's cool. Not entirely sure how that works, but I won't question it. I understand the concept of red shift. Thank you. You don't have to explain that. What I'm saying is, I'm not sure how you can. You're just putting like a. You put like a little lens in front of it. Change the color for a laugh. Uh, a gorse rifle. Let's have a look. Can we do anything with you? I do like the gorse rifle. Again, it's a different... It's a different weapon, isn't it? What are we lacking for that? Mini nuke hemisphere core. How do I get that? I would like one of those. Look, there it is. A Soltron circuit board. This is the gun I was thinking of. It was something that must have triggered something in my brain. Uh, honestly, I think... Cold fusion coil is hilarious. It uses cold fusion cores. It can do a thousand shots. It also does cryo damage, and I can't imagine much has resistance to that, right? That seems like that would be something that would be good universally against everything. Mini new chemisphere core. Stand by. We're going to see if we can craft one of those. R write that down. Remember it. Mini new chemisphere core. Keep that in my pocket, because then if we put two shot on that, I don't think we need another plasma rail. Boom. You can go. Uh, boxing glove. I don't think we need that. Goodbye. Okay, Gatling laser. Nocturnal Gatling laser. What do we do with you? Cold fusion assembly. Yeah, there's another one there. Look. Capacitor. I don't like the idea of a laser gun, about a massive laser gun like this. Zayton assembly is funny. Deuterium microfusion reactor. That seems like a really dangerous weapon to be carrying around, but what the hell do I know? I'm not a nuclear physicist. Plant is, he knows. Charging barrels. And so, reflex sights on, again, on a Gatling laser. I'm not feeling it. I think the effect chip is more useful. Right. Solve that problem. Uh, mi mini nuke half shell core, something like that. Advanced materials. Uh, certainly nothing here. Validate capacitors. Um, this drugs advanced materials. Could be in here, maybe. I don't think so. Tetra, sorry, tetra mutagenic healing. Because all damage wounds, radiation. Whoa. Where the hell do we get tetra mutagen? Because that seems bloody powerful. Of course, uh, anything in there? Oh, we can make some goggles. Sick. Hell yeah, you know we can. I hope we can wear that along with everything else we got going on, like a different layer again. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, we don't have to worry about that. Grenade. Mini nuke grenade. That seems... <laughs> that seems hilarious. Um, Lorenzo's power. I think that's what we get if we'd have si sided with Lorenzo as part of one of the mods. Um, that's okay. Misc. What the fucking hell is even that? Look at the state of it. What are we lacking? Sensor modules. How do we get these mini nuke things then? Is that maybe from one of the assembly lines? Bear in mind it'll take me a couple of days to um catch up with your comments here. Weird. Okay, I'm gonna look this up quickly because I can't see anything obvious. Uh, utility. Strong. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, there's the accelerator, by the way. That's that gun. It's there, right there. If you're curious, if you're playing along and want to do something with that yourself. Tinker, tinker, tinker. Strong <laughs> I love that whenever we come out to the base, it's, it's like a random choice of which unstoppable will be here hanging out. It's so good. What the? There's some black mold. Wow. That's some impressive black mold. Right. Uh, okay. Let me go look this up. We might be going on a bit of a mission here. It turns out they're the items, those, those random junk items you loot from Gorski Cabin. The problem with that is if you put them in storage, they break down into like uh, nuclear materials and, and, and what I've got it up on the screen here. Hang on. Nuclear materials and steel. So the problem is they probably, unless it, uh, unless it respawns, I probably used those uh, a million years ago just for random crafting. Well, the ghouls have respawned at least. That was a point blank laser blast. Right into his little ghoul bussy. Right, shut that damn door. Um, it's gonna be very dark in here. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to stand by. 
So if they haven't respawned, we're buggered. Oh my god, there's a massive spoiler on the Fallout wiki about this game. Unbelievable. I've read that now, and now I know now I know the ending. I can't believe they do something like that. Hello, uh, Mr. Mr. Gorski. Well, the good news is he's not here. The bad news is neither of the mini news. Ah, oh, why would you tie your weapon to something you can only loot once? Boo! I wonder if that. I wonder if a recipe has been inserted randomly somewhere into into the items, uh, in, into the crafting menus. Uh, it says on the Fallout wiki, only one can be found in a game located in the basement of the Gorski cabin in the same room as Wayne Gorski. I mean, I could check my junk. <laughs> you should always check your junk. I'm going to check my junk and see if maybe through some miracle it's still there and I have to take it and put it in my inventory because while it's in storage, it might only count as nuclear material and steel. I don't know if that's the case. Me, nothing, nothing. Uh, uh, whoa, would you look at that? Some just fell into Planty's pocket. Why would you make it a, <laughs> a requirement for a weapon when I can't build more? If I can build more, I can only apologize, but uh, I can't find any knowledge about this anywhere. So I'll wait for the comment section to to deride me for that one. But this sounds cool. It sounds cool. I like it. Okay. A big frosty gorse rifle. Frosty Gorse is also a great name. Hold on. Uh, Frosty, Frosty Gorse Rifle. Where are you? 3,333 DPS. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Missing required ammo. No, we need those fusion cores, you big idiot. Should we put two shot on it for a laugh? Because I imagine two shot on a Gorse Rifle is insanely good. Is it that we put it on the plasma, the, the, the plasma arc? And I'm not sure it'll work on that. Again, it might just buy an additional shot. We got enough effect chips from quite literally that just one quest. We got like three pieces of unique armor. There you go. Two shot is on there. I don't know how this will work, but we'll, we'll certainly certainly find out. Compensator. Do we want that? Reduce range. Suppressor. We definitely don't want. That's very silly. I do not want a night vision scope. Thank you. Um, I hate the fact that the scopes give stats because I just don't want it. Like I, I find it annoying to use that. Boo. Right. Uh, and then that's fine. That's good. Okay, now we got to find which one of these many 600 workbenches produce cold fusion cells or whatever it was. Cold fusion core. Um, mini missile. Depletes uranium rounds. Tommy ice. Nope. Vanadate plasma cartridges. Absolutely not. TNT. Whatever the hell that comes from. Okay, uh, fireworks, grenades, medical misc. Cold fusion. I swear we've seen it today. Oh, Terra Mutagen is right there. Oh my god, we can build a shitload of it. Well, we haven't got that much gold. Um, okay, well, I can't find this at all. So, this is going to be uh, <laughs> this is gonna be one for Google, I think. Hold on a second. Just had a quick diddle around in the console to try and find what the hell we're looking for. And it brought up Research Cold Fusion Core. Post up Cold Fusion Core. Mini Newt Beryllium Cap. Motherfucker. Where am I going to get that from? Only two can be found in the game. The Gorski Cabin! <sighs> I didn't know that we needed those so uh, for this quest. So let's just pretend I didn't throw them into the jungle. We clearly loot them at some point. Okay, what the? What was it? Brahmin? Oh, some fell into his pocket. That's crazy. I, I didn't know. Okay, now I know. Obviously, next time I play, I'll be like, ooh, straight to the Gorski Cabin so that we can, we can grab that. And then we can, what, upgrade it? What is that for? We could just upgrade it? Okay. I don't, I don't quite understand what that does. Oh, it recharges it, maybe. That could be the case. Well, prototype called Fusion Core. We've got one. In it goes. That does give a lot of shots, eh? Jesus, you're not wrong. And then... Kapow. Apparently it gives unlimited shots. Really? What the hell? Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. A gun that has unlimited shots would be nice. I don't suppose you've done that for all my other guns, have you? Uh, sadly not. <laughs> it was worth a go. Right, that will do for today. Apologies about all the tinkering and pissing around, but we've got a secret base. You know, I wanted a secret base for tinkering and pissing around, and that's why we're here. 
But that'll do. I think we're done now. I don't think I need to do any more weapon crafting for the rest of the game. We've got a good... A good collection of weapons here, all using different ammo types. If we run out, we just swap to another that's got ridiculous DPS. Uh, sadly, the Plaz Rail with its only 897 DPS is a bit pathetic at this point. Um, so maybe we'll retire that. I'm not sure. I do like the way it plays, firing the big lightning bolts. But <gasps> compared to everything else, it's just like a drop in the ocean, isn't it? Either way, we'll be back tomorrow to do some main quests. We'll hit the ground running tomorrow. No pissing around. See you all then.